Okay, I'm pretty sure this is recording. Okay, the point of this uh, video is just to give you a very quick and dirty and easy way to upload your projects to GitHub um, and update them over time, uh, just consistently um, with, as long as you're the only person working on it. So this is just the base uh, C-sharp project you could have, um, model view controller type thing has views. Um, this is literally the, the absolute base thing you could possibly have. But it comes with all these extra files and stuff. Um, and as you notice, there's no Git thing on this. And so if this were the status of our project and we want us to deploy it, assuming it ran, um, this is exactly what you'd do. Um, first of all, you go to your GitHub account and you create a new repository. If you go to this plus thing on the top right, you can just click new repository. Um, and I'm just going to call this GitHub upload demo. Um, you don't have to add a description, make it public because you want people to be able to view it. And then don't initialize any of these things um, unless you want to add a readme, but actually just don't, don't do that. But then you'll create this repository. If you add any of those things, it adds like an extra commit, so it's not worth it. This is like the place that you want. So anyway, you take this link right here. Um, this is the, this is basically the cloud link to your repository. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and you're gonna do git status. You shouldn't have anything, unless you somehow configured git inside your uh, Visual Studio, you shouldn't have anything. So to git init, this initializes an empty git repository here. So if I do git status, you'll see now that after that, there's all these uncommitted files. That's good. Um, we're going to also do git remote dash v. And this will basically tell us whether or not we have, uh, if we're like, if we're tracking some project in the cloud in GitHub, which we're not. So we're going to do git remote add origin. That's the name of it. Or we're just going to call it origin. We could call it something. Obviously, yeah, I'm just going to call it origin. Um, and then we'll put our link there that we just uh, did. And if we do git remote, dash V again, you'll see that when we push and pull, we're going to pull from that repository that we just created up here in GitHub. Um, now what we're going to do is before ever committing something in any project, you always want to go to gitignore.io or you'll commit things that could be potentially not good. So if you do go to, um, yeah, it's just gitignore.io or I'll just go to that link that you can see what goes to it, but anyway. I won't worry about that. But so since we're doing an ASP.NET project, um, we're going to go to ASP.NET Core and also C Sharp. Um, if you're doing it like Django or something else, you'd look up those things um, for virtual environments. As all these things that are really useful that you'll want to make sure that you ignore inside your project and that you don't commit. I'm going to copy everything in this file. Um, actually, and even better than that, if you just save the entire file, you can just go and save it right to where it is, which we shall find. Um, just make sure this is web application git demo. I make sure that I'm in the right spot. This is um, I guess we close console web app, web application git demo. Okay, so this is the project right here. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to save this. This is a text document, but I'm going to call it dot ignore. I'm just going to call all files, um, or it's just going to be an all file type, of, and then most be dot get ignore. So we shall save it right in there. And our project right here, now we should see our dot get ignore that we just saved in here. And you'll see this was created and generated by that, and that's beautiful. That's the very first thing you're going to commit. So when you get a status, you'll see that you have that in there, and so dot get ignore, you we'll get Add dot get ignore. And if you tab it, a lot of complete it for you. And then if you get status again, you'll see that it staged it. And that's the only thing that if you did get commit, it would commit it. So we're going to commit dash m. That just is a flag saying this is going to be the message. And we're going to say uh, added get ignore, which is the first thing you should do on your project. Um, after that, the you'll see that get ignore is no longer there then uh, you can add the rest of your files. You get status, you get add um, dot. Dot just means add everything. Since we've added the git ignore, it should ignore anything else that 
is not good, like, um, or that's not really part of the project. Like, uh, there's usually like a dot vs folder to handle the things. So, um, but everything else we do want to add. So we'll add that, and then once we get to commit, we'll look at status just to see like everything else is staged. And we'll get commit dash m. And we're just going to say added project. And you'll see that we now have all these added. If we do get status, everything is on this thing. Now we're going to do, um, now that we've added the remote, you should literally just be able to push straight to GitHub. So to do this, um, like most concisely, you know what branch you want to push from and push up to, you're going to do git push um, origin. This is the remote you're going to push to. We're going to push to that uh, fetch from that remote that we did. Um, master. And this is our local branch to the master branch in the cloud. So the local branch, the, the cloud branch that's in origin. And we'll push to that. And you'll see that it had us push up there. And if we go back to this thing, we will refresh it. And you'll see it's pushed up our whole project right here. Just nicely and has our git ignore exactly the way we want it. Now, um, let's say over time, like uh, you want to update your project and you update a file. Let's just say we go into our view and in our index, we're going to say um, git demo edited. If you see here, if you get status again, you'll notice we have that file edited. Once you have all the files changed that you want, just to git add again, add all the files. You'll see that we have a stage now and you do get status to get commits um, with your message and just say um, added files for project two. And it'll have those same things edited. And then you'll do, you'll do, do the same thing again where you did get push origin whatever your remote, whatever you decide to call your remote, master your local branch to the um, parent branch. In the cloud. And that should be it. If we go back to master again, you'll notice that uh, we just barely added this commit. We just added, the, added this in the views and you can even, if you wanted to see the changes that you did, for each project, you can see each commit and note that, oh, we made some changes here. So it allows you to go back and forth and see what changes you made over time. And that is it.